Understanding how to use TradingView effectively is a crucial step towards your journey to become a profitable trader. So in this short TradingView tutorial, we will take a look at how you can change the TradingView chart settings to not only make the chart look good, but to also make the chart more productive. So first of all, let's take a look at chart types. The most common type is to use candlestick charts. But if you want to change your chart type, you can go up here to the upper left corner and pre press this button right here where it says candles. And as you can see, we have many different types of charts you can use. The most common one is the candlestick chart, and this is a very good chart to use. Uh, but some traders, for example, prefer to use the bar chart. The bar chart gives us the exact same information as candlesticks, but some traders actually think that this one looks more clean, but they prefer to use this one over over candles, we also have many different types of charts. Another common one is also the hiking ashi candle, uh, and we of course have the normal line candle and many other types as well. The chart type I would personally recommend for traders are candles, but definitely guys, feel free to test around between these uh, different chart types and see which one you think looks the best. To make good trading decisions, it's important to have a visually appealing chart. Now guys, to change the chart settings, we basically right click here on the chart and we go down to the settings tab right here. And the first category here is symbols. On this category, you can basically customize your chart. You can, for example, change the color of the candles. So let's say that instead of green, we maybe want green candles. And instead of red, perhaps we prefer to use black candles. So as you can see, now we have a chart that looks something like this. You can also change the border of the candle. So we could, for example, use black borders. And as for the wicks, we usually want to have the wicks, of course, the same colors as the body. So we change this one to the same one and this one to the same one. Uh, press OK. So here you can see we have a different type of chart. And once again here, feel free to test around between these different colors to basically make a chart that you think looks good. As for the next category here, this category basically changes what happens in the upper left corner. We can, for example, change if we want to see the title or not. So as you can see right now, we're looking at an Apple chart. If we prefer to not see that one, we can uncheck this one. We can uncheck the logo if we want to. Here we have the open, high, low and close values of the candles, uh, you know, bar change values and so on and so on. So definitely guys, make sure to customize this to only show the information in the upper left corner that you think is relevant for the chart. On the next category, which is called scales, we can, for example, choose to display the symbol name or not, which in this case is AAPL, that is the Apple ticker symbol. Uh, we can choose to show the last price. I highly recommend you guys to have this this one checked so you can see the actual you know the actual price of what you are trading uh, you can show the buyers and the sellers of the market if you want to and you have many different options make sure to fool around on this tab to show what you think is relevant now guys as for the canvas category this one is very important this one lets you for example choose the background so as you can see right now we have a white background, right? But let's say we want another background color. We perhaps want a black background. And as you can see now, because we have black candles, you can't even see the black candles. So we might wanna go back here and and change back to red candles so we can see that. Uh, but you can change the background. You can, if you want to, have a gradient background where you can basically choose two colors. So let's say we have we want a white background mixed with black. We can choose one of the colors white and one of the colors black. So now we have a background that looks like this. The grid lines are basically the lines that goes both horizontal and vertically. You can change the color and how visible you want these ones to be uh, and so on and so on. Uh, make sure guys to customize the chart to exactly how you want it. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want more TradingView tutorials, I actually have a TradingView playlist. So make sure to check that one out if you want to learn more about how to use TradingView effectively.